How to use Arc Browser for Beginners. In this video, we are going to be talking about Arc Browser and how you're going to use this incredible platform for yourself in the most easiest and simplest way. And we're going to be talking about how this actually helps you shape the proper ways on how we're going to be doing stuff on our browser journey. So to start things off, what we are going to be doing is we're going to come over to Arc.net. Now, once you're over to Arc.net, what you're going to want to do over here is we're simply going to go ahead and click on download arc for windows 11. so when you click on download arc for windows 11 it's going to be added over here so as we can see we have arc installer.exe right in front of us now once we go to the actual arc installer from there what we are going to be doing is we're going to double click on it like that we're going to click on run and once you click on run you're simply going to wait for things to load up. Okay, so basically right now it's loading up your actual setup and installer. And as you can see, it straight away brings you into the downloading. Now, as Arc downloads, let's actually go ahead and discuss the features that it gives us. Okay, so basically Arc is platform or a software that is very different from other browsers that you have. You know, we have Google, we have Opera, you know, pretty basic and straightforward stuff. Now, how is Arc different? Arc is basically an art studio. You know, Arc brings you all these different designs and all these different, you know, uh, proper lookouts for you to work with. And it's generally a really good idea to have stuff like this in your repertoire because Arc actually gives you a lot of features to match up with when you are going into the design bit. Now, first of all, this is the layout. You know, you have this small theme tab over here. Okay. Then down here, we have the tabs that are opened up, okay? So we have New York Times, we have Gmail, we have Insider, then you can see the personal files that you've created like Spotify, and then we have the you know recurring tabs that we have opened over here. So it's a pretty clean look, okay? And that's the best part about this is that it's really clean, it's really minimalistic, and it gives you a really fun you know uh, idea of browsing and it makes browsing actually pretty fun you know sometimes you might be studying and browsing you know stuff for your articles but you know in this case in arc's case you can actually browse while having fun because you can individually go to websites open up arc boost which is basically arc's very own designer it's it's an external feature of arc and if you open up arc boost you can use it to change the colors the themes the fonts everything about a web page so pretty incredible and pretty cool stuff to have for yourself so we're simply gonna wait for our arc to fully download and once it downloads let me show you how it actually looks from the inside so as you can see the browser has now downloaded now here it says meet the internet again so we're gonna go ahead and click on this now it asks us to create an account and everything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the necessary details so I'm gonna add my name then we're going to go ahead and add our email. And once we've added our email, what we're going to do from there is we're going to add a password. So the password could be anything. Okay, just make sure it's a good and strong password. From there, we're going to confirm our password real quick. And once we have done that, agree to the terms and service, and we're going to click on create an account. Now, once your account is created, it's going to take you straight over here where it says got us up to speed. Now, you're going to choose the browsers that you have used and you want to, you know, import something from. So uh, we're going to go to know I want to type in all my passwords again. Go steady with Arc. Make your Arc your default browser. So I'm going to go with no right now, but you can go ahead and create it for yourself if you want to. Now, it says, welcome to Arc, John. Here's your Arc card. Show it off to the world or keep it to yourself. So as you can see, John, helpful thinker. And you can obviously preload this however you want. Okay. so. Once we have gone with what we want, we're going to click on get started. And once you click on get started, we are going to get straight into our Arc browser. Now in the Arc browser, as you can see, we have these tabs on the left and then we have this over here. So let's go ahead and create a new tab. And in the new tab, I'm going to go over to YouTube. OK, so as you can see, once I've loaded up YouTube, the loading process is pretty quick and pretty simple. All right. Now, once it's opened up, what you can actually do is you can use the different types of features, as I told you before. 
So first of all, the feature that we have is called, you know, proper arc boost. Now, arc boost can obviously either be found in the extension section or any other section. And the fun part about the extensions is that as you can see, it's already added an ad blocker by itself because, you know, everyone knows no one likes an ad blocker. So it's just there for us to use. Now, moving on, you can also add new spaces for yourself. So there could be different saved spaces that you can use. So let's say there could be a workspace, there could be, let's say, a chill space, whatever you want. It's all doable. It's all usable. Now, moving on, we can obviously open and close our tab just like this over here as well, which is pretty cool. And over here, we can edit our theme color however we want. So let's say I want to go with this and let's go with a lighter shade of purple. So just like that. Now, once we've gone with that, you can obviously add different things as well. So you can, you know, add new profiles, rename the space. You can also change the space icons. So look at that. We have a specific space now with a specific mood of icon. Pretty cool. Then we can also go ahead and archive a space. So let's say I want to go over here. I'm going to drag it to the archive section. And there we go. Just like that, that removes our space. So pretty incredible and pretty basic stuff. From here, you can open up your incognito windows and all. And you can also go into your settings. Now in the settings, first of all, you have obviously the arc bar and everything. Now you're going to choose your profile. So let's say in this profile, search engine, you can choose Google, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, Yandex. So I'm going to go with Google. Then it says advanced search settings, which is also something you can use. So first of all, we have the autofill and password that you can use privacy and security, pretty basic stuff. Performance, when it says memory saver, if this is off, make sure to turn it on because it helps you a lot. Then we have font size. You can obviously change it to however you want. You can customize fonts as well, like whatever font you want can be kept. So let's say I want my font to be this one. Okay. And any site that I go on is going to have different fonts for me. All right. Then we have the different search engines. Obviously mine is Google. If you want to make it your default browser, you can choose this section over here. You can see your accessibility and downloads in these sections. And so pretty incredible stuff. And finally, you also have extensions. You can add as many extensions as you want because they all work efficiently and incredibly with each other. So you know, that's the main idea of Arc and how you're going to be using this incredible platform for yourself. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you incredible people in the very next video. Have a great and incredible day. Goodbye.